guys, it's Kate. Welcome to Open to a Narcissist 101. Thank you for joining me. Have a subscribe. Please do. Guys, today's topic is uh, when the covert narcissist can't hide behind you anymore. When they cannot use you as an excuse not to parent. You know, because, you know, they tell you and everybody that cares to listen that the only reason why they are not there for their children or they're not helping out as they should is because you will let them. You make things difficult. You put them, you put some kind of a, a block for them not to participate in anything. It's, I mean, it's your fault. It's your fault. If not, they would have been wonderful, uh, hands-on parents. You know, that's, that's the story to tell. So that's why they find every reason to uh, put you in the middle of everything. So that way they can always, by default, uh, that, that's it's because of them. He, he did it, she did it. That's why I can't do anything. You know? But when you like ignore these people uh, and do the best you can, of course, which is what I keep telling you guys, that you do the most, when it comes to the children, they are not really relevant. Um, that's how I look at it with the corporate narcissist I was dealing with is that he, as long as the kids need that or that's something that the kids need to you know, have or uh, they need, where they need to be, whatever it is that, because, you know, putting the kids first, you know, the, the well-being of the children first, and it doesn't matter if they choose to participate in it or not, or uh, is if it's monetary-wise, something that you can afford, you go ahead and do it. Uh, just, you know, count them out if they don't want to be part of it, you know, because, um, the story, of course, as you know, is that is, is your fault. That's why they can't do anything, you know. So when the kids are young or younger, they always, you know, find a way to place you in the middle of why nothing is, is happening, you know. So, but the thing that you notice is that as you, as the kids are growing, and as I'm seeing with my own children, is that the kids eventually see this. They eventually get it. Matter of fact, my daughter especially said, um, so does he not want a parent? And I can I tell you a story of why, you know, that, that, that whole comment came about. You know, if you have kids where, you know, they are doing my, my daughter is in band. So that means if you know, you know, they have this weird schedules, you know, with the, uh, the football team. So sometimes you every Friday, back to back, Friday, Friday and Saturday, they are going to something. And most of the time they end up, you know, you have to pick them up at night, 10 PM, sometimes midnight. And then they turn around and do the same thing the next day. So it's been really, really crazy with this whole, the whole schedule that she's on, you know? So well, of course, what that means is that this weekend when she's over here, she's doing, you know, we're doing that next weekend. That needs to happen when he, she's over there on, on, on his side, you know? So what ends up happening with this guy is that he would, um, he was using the brother, which that's a whole different story. <laughs> He was using the brother to do all the services, right? So whenever the kids need to do this, the brother, is, his younger brother is the one that would do all this running around. However, they seem to have gotten in some kind of something as usual with the covert nursing. Once you see them, you know, so the brother took off and not there. So now he realized this would be on him, right? So what he decided to do was to fall back on the skews of, um, he doesn't know what's going on. Nobody tells him anything. Nobody tells him ahead of time. You know, that's why he doesn't know what's going on with anybody, anybody's schedule. So a few weeks ago, my daughter, of course, has something to go. And he's over, the, you know, he's, she's going over to his side. And by around Thursday, I think, uh, maybe Friday, my son, he called them originally. He only calls them Friday before they show up. He never, he never talks to them up until, until that Friday. So for two weeks, he doesn't talk to them until the Friday that he's supposed to pick them up. That's when he calls. They don't call him. He don't call them. So <laughs> that's how it is now. So he calls and my son was saying, you know, he has a job, a part-time job. So he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to work this weekend. You're going to drop me off. You know, my sister is doing this and that. And, you know, you need to you know, pick them up from the school, uh, pick her up from the school. So I could hear him in the in, 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 you know, on the phone talking about, Oh, I, I don't know about that. I didn't, I didn't have the schedule. Nobody told me ahead of your mom did not tell me that she's doing this and that. Mind you, remember, this is something that's ongoing, but because the brother has been handling this business, he didn't care. So that he delegated that to the brother. So, but I said, I can hear him on the phone. So my son was like, you know, doing the signs, like, what is he talking about to me? And I guess he not told my son to give me the phone. So I told the phone, like, what is going on? Oh, yeah, you didn't tell me this, blah, 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 blah. I can't, you know, I have this. I have to stay with the other kids and this and that. I'm like, okay, so how is that my problem? She has a commitment. She, she, 
she needs to be picked up around 10 p.m. tonight because from school. Yeah, but I can't do this. And then I'm like, you know what? I'll go get my daughter. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. I'll go get my daughter. You know, it's like, yeah, because, you know, nobody says anything. Uh, 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 I, I, I don't even get the emails anymore. Uh, I'm like, wait, what? I don't get the emails anymore. I mean, my name, my, my phone number is not there anymore. Like, I, I, I can't. Immediately he said that. Immediately he said he can't get emails from school anymore. He can't get um, an update of what's going on anymore. I knew, I knew, I knew this person has done something to make sure that he can use his excuse. So maybe he said that I'm like, ah, okay. So I hung up the phone and I logged into, you know, uh, the school, uh, uh, the parent portal. Well, there you have it. When I logged on there, his name is still on there. However, his contact information has been changed to my number. <laughs> And for both kids, on both sides, on both kids' uh, profiles, he then everything else is blank. The number that he switched the number to mine. Now, why I'm saying this is that you guys know when your kids are going back to school, we just did this in August, guys, where you do the beginning of the year forms. You go there to update everything. So I already know <laughs> what's supposed to be on there. So what this person went and did was went and took his name off. He took his contact information off. From the he left his name, but took any any form of them contacting him was replaced with my information, so that way he can use this excuse of not ha getting any information. Now, let's backtrack. Be when this happened back in 2017, in the divorce and 2017, 2018, it used to be this game that he played where anytime I you know who starts and you put the information, he will go back in there and switch things around. He did this so many times where he will now move himself as the first point of contact or he will add uh, an extra number to his number. Like he, he was doing this. Or he, he's another form of a game to him was when he, he just monitors the kids' grades and whatever to come back to tell me how they are not doing well. They, they got a 97 the last time. Now it's 82. And the, meanwhile, he contributed nothing into, he has never asked them what, what, you know, how, what homework do you have? Do you need help? He just goes over there just so he can get something to come at me. So fast forward, that is funny that now he went back <laughs> to take his information off from there so that he wouldn't be contacted. So he will use that excuse as not being part of anything you know that's where we are in 2024 this just happened <laughs> in 2024 you know so the kids of course like you know for that part anyway i went and got my daughter at around 10 30 at p.m that day he couldn't do it for that weekend um so when the next the next time that my daughter is going over there of course she has it. so what she decided to do which I, unbeknownst to me because i thought the same thing was going to happen this weekend because like i said when it comes to the children you don't want to do it. That's okay. Sit on the sidelines. That's fine. You know, just get out of the way. You know, so, however, on, on that Friday, my daughter is, I'm like, okay, I'll probably come and get you again because, you know, this person is probably won't be available to come pick you up. He's like, oh, no, mom. I, I, I sent him my schedule on Monday. I said, huh? He's like, yeah. When I got my band schedule, I sent it to him on Monday because I figured he said he doesn't get anything. So now I'm going to make sure that he gets it. So that way he doesn't have to come talk to you about anything. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, ah, <laughs> oh, we finally made it over here where the kids are talking to him directly about their schedule. Because like I said, the whole gist is that you are stopping them from doing anything. So what the children did is that now they're dealing with him directly. They take, give, give him the schedule. Now he doesn't know how to approach me again to come and ask me questions because now you have the schedule directly from the kids. Because you know, most of the time they choose to believe that the kids are like two years old. You know, so that way they can keep doing none. But now, both of them are in high school. They have their, my son is working. They have their own schedule. They know, they, they know how to move around. So it's like, yeah, I, I gave him the schedule. So that way he knows what I'm doing for, for a week. You know, he knows a week ahead of time, he knew what I was going to do. So that way, that was, he doesn't have to talk to, you don't have to talk to him. I wasn't planning to anyway, but, you know, I just thought, finally, I mean, this, this, this is where we are now, where, they cannot hide behind you anymore. You can't say, I don't tell you anything. You can't, the kids see it. They see that you're running away from responsibilities. So they decide to pretty much go directly to you and say, okay, this is what we're doing. 
So that's why I, I tell you guys that you, you do the do, do what you have to do because the kids are watching. They're seeing this. They're seeing all of it. In as much as it looks like maybe they're not getting, they are seeing this. Because over the years, the kids have, kids have realized he really doesn't want to part participate. The only time that he asks them questions about school or whatever, look like he's in, in quotes interested. No, he's looking for something to criticize. And, and they get it now. And, you know, they're older now, they get it. So it's like, okay, this is, this is my schedule. This is what I'm doing. You know, you can't hide behind mom anymore. You can't use mom as an excuse of you not doing anything because we are telling you this is what we're doing ahead of time. So the, that weekend that they did that, I was like, no, you know, he, she, he had to do all the running around with the kids. That's, you know, <laughs> because they had already told him. So there was no, um, coming back to me of course when i went back to the the, the parent port and i decided to leave it like that like i didn't want to i didn't even approach him to say so you went and sat down and took your information off your kids uh profile so that way you have an excuse of saying that why you the reason why you're not participating in anything i didn't even go i left it like that you know if the, his number is not my number uh his name is still there as the, as, as, the, as the father but the contact information is mine so i left it I didn't even come back like I, and I, pl I don't plan to. I don't plan to. It's like, they p play these stupid games. They play these ridiculous childish games. Like, it's, it's strange. But this is what you, what's, what does you expect from people like that? So immediately he made that comment. I knew he had done something. That's how you got to watch these people. They'll tell you what they're doing by accusing you of something. That's how you know what they're doing. Immediately he said, you removed my name off the thing, my number off the thing. I, I didn't know. That's why I don't get information anymore. I'm like, ah. <laughs> okay, let me go find out which one it is that you did. Of course, he did something. So guys, prioritize the children, the welfare of the children, because again, you are the only parent. You are the only one that cares. Do what you got to do. The children are watching. They are absorbing all of this. They already, they know. They know they might, they might not say now because they are younger or you, they might not see, but as they're getting old, like as, as you notice it with mine, they know, you know, they've been paying attention. They've been, they might not have a name for it or what you're doing, but they know eventually they get it like, ah, okay. You really, you really, you really don't want to be a part of this or you choose, you pick and choose what you want to do, you know? All right, guys, get ahead of your mind and everything's will fall into place. Please like and share. Take care.